All right, Pip Squeaks, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I've got the Bruce Bolt 2020 batting glove lineup, and I'm going to walk you through the differences between the new series and the 2019 series. Uh, first thing I want to talk about are, are the things that I noticed before I even knew what the changes were. Uh, the leather on these gloves feels a little bit more rugged. If you notice uh, on these ones, this is the 2019 model. This leather felt very soft. It's very supple. It's a very luxurious kind of leather. This one feels a little bit more sturdy. So that was a welcome change. Uh, the other thing I noticed was that the cuff here is double in width uh, compared to the other ones, or about double, um, which is also a welcome change because it makes it easier to take on and off. And then the third change is that we've got gold on the inside. Uh, if you remember from last year's models, if you picked like a black color, it was also black in here. Uh, this was actually done on purpose. It wasn't just uh, for aesthetic reasons. Uh, this gold dye is less corrosive, so it helps the longevity of the batting gloves. And then the most important change that I personally noticed was the gloves are a lot tighter in certain areas. So I'll point them out right now. Uh, all on the fingertips. Each fingertip fits a lot more snugly than in the previous glove. And at first I thought, man, this is a little bit too tight, felt a little uncomfortable, but this actually loosened up and really forms around my hand very well. And so the precision I get with these batting gloves compared to the 2019 lineup is a significant change, uh, particularly when you're swinging every day. You will notice a difference uh, when you put something that fits very nicely versus something that is even a little bit off. And the 2019 lineup was pretty good, don't get me wrong, but uh, these are a lot better. So those are the changes that I noticed. And now I'm going to run you through some of the official changes that have been made. So. Uh, the biggest change is that there have been two reinforcements made, one on the heel of the glove and the other in the area between the index finger and the thumb. So if we see here, actually I'll give the, shall I show you the red ones? So if we see here, we've got this reinforced area and then we've got this reinforced area. And basically it's just extra padding that's been put here to help prevent tears here and tears here. I'm sure you guys are well aware, those are the two areas that just seem to tear all the time. If you look at the 2019 model, we don't have that. See, we've got no reinforcements here, and we've got no reinforcements here. So that is a very welcome change. The other change that's been made is that the company's upgraded the Lycra and the threads that were used to stitch the gloves together. Uh, last year, the number one failure point was the stitching that held the Lycra to the leather. It wasn't actually the leather tearing. So if you see here, this Lycra has been upgraded, and it's not that easy to see on camera, but if you actually hold it in your hand, you'll feel it and see the difference. Now, if I compare to the 2019 model, we don't really have uh, that same quality Lycra. I mean, it's still good, but it's not the same. It may look the same on camera, but if you were to actually hold it in your hand, you'd see the difference. And you actually see some of the fraying that's been going on in this black area. Now, granted, I've used these gloves for many months, so you know, keep that in mind. Uh, the biggest improvement, however, which is ironically the least noticeable, is that they inverse the stitching, meaning that they stitch the gloves inside out so the threads aren't exposed and can't be a failure point. If you look here, going back to that Lycra, you don't see any stitching, right? It's actually done on the inside. Now, I'm not an engineer, so maybe I'm wrong here, but this seems to make complete sense to me. Right, why would you want the threads on the outside where they're going to be exposed to a lot of wear and tear and they're already pretty fragile to begin with because it's just threads. So by doing it on the inside, right, you kind of avoid all of that friction. So this is a really smart move and I think that's probably going to add to the longevity of these gloves uh, even more so than the 2019 model which didn't have that same feature. Um, they also made their logo out of 3D rubber and it's sewn on. The other gloves were more of a sticker, so you can see here that we've got some texture now. It's kind of 3D, or it is 3D, and um, that's what it sounds like. Last year we had, it's just kind of like a sticker, and you can see it actually kind of peeling off right here. However, again, keep in mind, I use this glove for months, so it's even the sticker that they make is really good quality. Uh, the company recommends that if you want to shine the gloves up, use a mink oil or a good glove conditioner. They recommend a paste. 
And then last but not least, the gloves actually break in and form fit to your hand after you've used them for a couple weeks. That was the thing that I noticed before I even knew that that was a feature. Right, I'd been using these gloves for about two weeks. I said, man, they feel really tight on the fingertips. Um, and then after a few weeks, it felt very snug. It felt very comfortable. And I'm telling you that precision makes a huge difference. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys like this video. This is the, the 2020 Bruce Bolt Batting Glove lineup. And this pair is the 2019 lineup. So hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Uh, if you would liked it, leave a like. Drop a comment. Give me your bank account number. So, no, okay, don't do that. All right. Have a good one, guys. Goodbye.